Hi, and welcome to the first unit of U.S. history. This unit is titled The Early Americas, and this is a special unit. The reason it is special is because it, is, it consists of a selection of lessons from the first three units of our book. So we've gone through the first three units and selected some essential lessons that will help us, that will help introduce us to the course and help ease us into the remainder of the course. So there will be no more merges of unit after, un after beginning in unit four. And uh, each unit then will be its own standalone unit. So we'll be talking about the peoples of the Americas. Here we're talking about Native Americans mainly. We will discuss the middle colonies and uh, how they thrived. We will talk about the causes of the American Revolution as well as its outcome and effects where Americans win, win the revolution. By the end of the assessment, we'll be able to describe early Native American societies, summarize how the middle colonies thrived, explore the causes of the American Revolution, as well as assess the outcome and effects of America's revolutionary war. Now, let's take a closer look at our lessons. Excuse me. So, Lesson 1.1, it explores the... Uh, sorry, we uncover the vibrant cultures flourishing across the Americas before European influence, from the grandeur of the Maya civilization to the nomadic lifestyles of Plains, of Plains Indians. These societies were intricately woven into their surroundings, often with advanced agricultural practices and complex belief system. This lesson will offer us a glimpse into the diverse fabric of America's indigenous roots. So you all might be familiar a little bit with Native Americans in the modern day, but the case today is very different when it comes to the case in the early, say, 18th and 19th centuries. So we will be taking a closer look at the roots of Native Americans, what we know about them, and as we move on throughout the course, we'll be discussing their interaction with the colonists that came from abroad. Lesson two, the middle colonies. Now, this lesson, we will talk about um, a, the middle colonies were a home to an array of Dutch, English, and German settlers. These colonies thrived due to fertile land and a varied economy. So what happened essentially was that immigrants moved from, uh, from Holland, from England, from German, and they all settled in the middle colonies. We're talking about states like New Jersey, Pennsylvania, uh, New York. Um, we, all, we can also talk about Delaware. So they moved in, coming in from abroad, and people who were already in the United States started emigrating into those colonies. So it was a center of trade, and so that attracted more and more newcomers. Trade routes buzzed with activity, fostering cultural exchange. And there, while religious tolerance set a unique tone for these communities, the middle colonies became a crucible, a key crucible of growth and diversity that paved the way for the nation's later development. So let me move on to the other two lessons, three and four. So we'll dive into lesson 3.2, delving into the core reasons behind the American Revolution. Tensions at the time had escalated due to taxation without representation, due to British crown restrictions on trade, and attempts to assert control over colonial governance. These conflicts gradually transformed colonial frustration into a resounding call for independence setting the stage for the monumental changes that lay ahead. So we will talk about the British colonists, their methods of ruling, their ways of governance, and how that frustrated the people of the Americas. So you might have heard of the, say, the Boston Tea Party. Well, we'll talk about the rise of political parties that were, that were against 
the English monarchy and who had pro protests against taxation as well as the, uh, the control and policies of colonies. Finally, the Americans and how they won the revolution. So we'll conclude our expl exploration. Lesson 3.4 celebrates the dramatic climax of the American Revolution. This lesson brings to life crucial battles like Saratoga and Yorktown, where the valor of American forces under the leadership of figures like George Washington played a pivotal role. You, have, you may also have heard of the Declaration of Independence written by Thomas Jefferson. We'll be looking at some key battles and key documents and key figures that were present at the time. And as we follow the twists and turns of the conflict, we will witness the birth of a new nation solidified by the 1783 Treaty of Paris that, that secured America's cherished independence. So in conclusion, we are reminded that history is a tapestry woven from diverse threads from the indigenous civilizations that preceded European arrival to the struggles and triumphs of colonial and revolutionary times, each lesson uncovers a new layer of the nation's foundation. So thank you, and I look forward to seeing and working with you all.